Hey guys, what's up? My name is Jade Wolf, and today we are playing Dungeons 2. Now this is a game I picked up on Steam Sale, and it looked really interesting because it reminded me of playing Dungeon Keeper on Windows 95 way back in the day. Um, so hopefully we are going to have some fun with this. Um, we're going to get a game started with single player. Ooh, okay, well, campaign for sure. It was time. The troops of the absolute evil had driven the Alliance back to their capital, King's Ending. The time for the final battle had arrived. Prepare to destroy the Alliance, and with it, Ooh. all good in the land once and for all. Yes. I will rule the world once again. Wait, so back? I'm like. It was time. Oh. The troops of the absolute evil had driven the Alliance once upon a time. There was. A kingdom full of flowers and rainbows. Rainbows. Where the sun shone disgusting. all the time, and there was loads of that goody goody lovey dovey good people stuff going on. There, that was pretty funny. the alliance of abominably good people lived in unearned wealth and prosperity. It's like My Little Pony. But there was a path leading to a different place there. At the end of this path was a rock. Death wish? There was a cave carved in this rock in which the absolute evil lived. It wasn't a grubby, damp cave smelling of muck and mildew, but a deep, a vulture, dark so dungeon. So dark that even darkness itself was afraid of it. <laughs> it was home to numerous innocent monsters who enjoyed <gasps> a my little pony. existence, living in complete harmony with their environment. But time and again, the sickening, sweet-smelling good visited this underworld in search oh. of treasure and experience points. Many monsters experience found this points. to be the death of them, but much worse, the absolute evil's treasures were being stolen. No. One day, just I as a few more heroes this. had finished plundering its dungeon, the absolute evil decided it had had enough and decided to do something new, something quite monstrous. Hmm. Go to the surface. The Alliance tried to resist, but the approaching horde just this. flowed over them like an angry wave of axes, teeth, and bad breath. After numerous unrelenting battles, the absolute evil finally stood before the Alliance's capital, King's Ending. Oh, and this is where we come in. Press R to rotate the work and the work unit to be rebuilt. Good hint. I'm sure I'll know exactly what that means when I'm playing. This is kind of like Diablo 3-esque, very Warcraft 3. I really like the artwork and it's light and colorful, kind of like LOL. Ooh. Like it has a sense of humor. Battles, the forces of the absolute evil reach the Alliance capital, King's Ending. The, Naga and the, the laughable ogre? remnants of the forces of good had come here to make ready for the final battle. Evil would pay a high price indeed to storm those fortress walls, or so they thought. <laughs> Suddenly, a rumble rose from deep within the earth. Stones burst asunder, revealing an ancient path into the depths. Out of the depths of Stygian darkness arises. The Invincible Evil. With Earth's steps, the unstoppable evil began its trek towards the front. Oh, that's me. In the terribly improbable event that it may have forgotten how that works, a formidable help function has been provided. Mm. The presence of the absolute evil was also reflected in the land itself. Grass withered, and in places, the ground tore open to reveal bubbling lava. That's <laughs> really funny. This, so this game is pretty... They're self-aware with what they're doing. They're poking fun at themselves. Ah, that <clears> is really cool. I said, with <sighs> earth-shaking steps, the unstoppable, if somewhat sluggish, evil began its trek <laughs> towards the front. Even the forest could not understand the aura of the open and beat a hasty retreat. <gasps> is that a creature? Let me a step few of on the it. Alliance units had entrenched ah. themselves here. 
Oh, I can't. A determined, absolute evil marched towards them in order to strike them down with its mighty weapon. Okay. What moves I have? Move, attack, the selected target is F. Okay. T is stop. Hold position. Left and right hand of the devil. A mighty blow, which clearly demonstrates Although a bit hesitant at first, the, the absolute, absolute evil, evil eventually marched with determination towards the defenders oh in gosh, order to awesome. slay them. Whoa. They're pretty strong. Ooh, health potion. Absolute evil had discovered a medal. These legendary awards ensured a creature could be made even more powerful. Only one downside: the creature could only wear one at a time. Eyes ablaze with greed, the insidious evil gazed upon the blood-drenched battlefield. Here, the last defenders of good would die, and an age of evil begins. <laughs> Come on, buddy. I don't like that you have to select him. It's the only unit I'm playing. He should be able to just go away. Tell him to. Projectiles from the Alliance's catapults darkened the sky. Oh, but the horse so fighting skills were at their best in darkness if they survived. <laughs> Absolute evil strode six, six, like six. a war god through the defenders' ranks and smote them with ease to the ground. Smote. Let's smoke. Elite. Yes. Nothing and no one could stop the invincible evil. All right, let's get that health push. Right here. Okay. Come on. Can I get that? The forces of good never had a chance against the absolute evil. That's right. Mm, let's go up here. Oh, ouch. Dang. One hit. Ooh, this has a light in it. Can I go in? The absolute evil destroyed the defender's camp in the west with the greatest of ease. Now, only one tiny camp offers any resistance to the absurdly evil evil. Absurdly evil. Even there won't be able to hold out for much longer. We're gonna take out all, all the alliance. Nothing so and no one could stop the invincible evil. Nope. I'm gonna leave evil in my way. Oh. Oh, that's where they spawn. The absolute evil destroyed the defenders' camp in the east with the greatest of ease. The defenders in front of the city had oh, been beaten to, to a here. pulp and defeated. Now the time had come to attack King's Ending, the final battle bed. The city gate was firmly barricaded by the Alliance's archers, but the absolute evil would not allow itself to be held up by such ridiculous impediment. So, go get them! Destroy them now! Ha 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 ha! Stay in character. <clears throat> The absolute evil used its all-powerful magic to eliminate the archers and open the gate to the city. What? Uh, hold position. Attack. Attack the gate. Hmm, I guess I have to use E? I'm totally missing something here. There's no basic attack? The absolute evil had a good lock. Using its legend. Oh. Wait for it. 
Derry. Yeah, I'm done. Powers. The absolute evil destroyed the impediment with ease and simultaneously eliminated a whole group of defenders. True story. The road to the capital True was now story. clear. The absolute evil did not hesitate for even one nanosecond. <laughs> hint, hint. <laughs> That's a pretty cool move. Actually, the cowardly evil did hesitate. Oh. The insidious evil entered King's Ending. A small, pitiful group of defenders stood in its way. Suddenly, the doors of several houses in the city opened, and with a loud roar, defenders bore down on the rather surprised evil. An ambush. Oh yeah, destroy everything. To take out everything. Personal preference. I like this move. Okay, now we just take out this little camp. Ugh. I'm not liking that I have to select him. Because it's just one little extra thing that's just. Wasteful time. <sighs> and I have no time to spare. Whoa! The invincible that evil had so crushed the defenders. Okay. King's ending had been defeated. At least, that's what it thought. <gasps> Paladins! Dang. Suddenly, the final heroes of the Alliance emerged from nowhere. Another from ambush? Nowhere. Now, this was becoming very boring. But wait, this time it was different. Instead, the heroes raised their hands and started singing an incomprehensible chant. A magical ritual? Mm. This did not go well. Mm -mm. Well, actually, it built the arrival of good things, great things. Oh. Unless you happen to be the absolute Oh. Victory, continue. And that is the story. Somewhere in the depths of the dungeon, the ultimate evil awoke. It did not know what had happened, nor why it had awoken, but it longed for revenge. Let's do it. Second the last level. remaining heroes of the country joined forces and cast a powerful banishment spell. The absolute evil disappeared from There's sight a lot with of a story threatening to this. gesture, and a faint whispered, the absolute oh, evil had fuck. been banished, and its essence shattered into several pieces. Its reign of terror had ended. The this good people of the overworld rejoiced, and an era of peace began for the Alliance. Ah, get away. The evil creatures were driven back into the underground, doomed to serve as cannon fodder for pleasure-seeking adventurers. <laughs> Meanwhile, secreted away in the world's most inaccessible places, the last remains of the absolute evil were resting, never again to see the light of the overworld. The ring, the one ring. Until today, that is. Somewhere deep under the earth, the ultimate evil awoke. They really could have just jumped to this part. <laughs> you can use large number of spells multiple times by holding down the mouse button. Press F10 to display the logbook. That was a really cute story, and I did really enjoy the narrative. So not to say like they shouldn't have done all of that. And the hand Ooh. of terror arose, controlled by the ultimate evil. Oh my gosh, it's actually... It's actually hand that's... Come on, out. hand of terror! Arise, damn you! Methinks that exploring the surrounding area would be a sensible strategy. However, to do this, Light would be required. Hmm. Still not bright enough. Ooh. An old throne room was revealed by the light. The circumstances remained a mystery. The hand of terror flew through the throne room, following each and every thought the ultimate evil had. 
After a few flying sessions, the ultimate evil was able to control the hand with ease. The time had come to call forth creatures who were completely devoted to it and would do its dirty work. Little snots were the dregs of each and every dungeon and spent their time taking care of it. The expansion mad evil hired one snot on the spot. Hire little snots. Little snots are small, cute creatures that do all the dirty work in your dungeon. Whether you need gold mine, beer brewed, or toilets cleaned, little snots are what you need. Other monsters in the horde love to use their these dispensable workers to reduce their boredom levels. The ultimate evil now decided to recruit a little snot. <laughs> the right. first little snot appeared. Oh, it was completely ready Snorty. to work in the dungeon and to crawl in the dust before the ultimate evil. Little snots were important to the ultimate evil because they took care of many important little things, such as excavating new areas. The psionically gifted evil could oh, sense the presence of something important that was buried to the south. It instructed its little snots to dig in that direction. Demolish. Use this function to demolish rooms. What's this? Tutorial excavation. As quick as a fart, the little snot made his way to the marked <laughs> position and began to dig. What is this? Toolboxes. Beer barrel shows how many beer barrel beer barrels you own. Use the left mouse button to open and close the unit. Behold, the creatures of the mm. overjoyed evil had apparently okay. been much more industrious than it had thought. Whoa. A great this. dungeon was revealed behind the wall. Everything was already in place. Doors, traps, a well-filled treasury. So wait. Pra yes, praise me. And where, if you please, is this treasury? Oh, oh well. One can't expect too much, much of these mindless little snots. First of all, some gold had to be dug out to make space for a treasury to be created. The Hand of Terror swiftly marked a few small oh. gold veins so that the little snots could excavate them. As soon as the gold vein was selected, a little snot immediately set out to mine valuable gold for the greedy evil. Greedy me? Where do they dump it? Oh, they just leave it. So... Oh, let's see. Does it say a total of my gold anywhere? Order another. Once most of the gold had been mined, the Hand of Terror quickly created a treasury on the spot so that the precious metal could be safely stored. Oh, look, it's just filling up. Mmm, yes. Dig more gold. What? What's my hand doing? So, when I played the original Dungeon Keeper, I was really young. <laughs> So, I just remember really enjoying building the dungeon. It's very, very similar to this. You have this giant... Ooh, what's that? I'm lucky to find a regeneration. What? I guess I'll put it here. What do I do? Can I just use it? It's weird. Okay. Again, the thoughts of the confused evil wandered off into the far yonder. Apparently, it was of the opinion that it had better things to do than follow the story. <sighs> what better things could there possibly be? Let's see, build a treasury. Ooh, okay, you know what? Here, let's just get rid of this. And this. Oh, I can't? Okay, we'll build a treasury. treasuries should I have? Can I just highlight it? This is pretty great. Why are these still highlighted? Okay. Yeah, so as a kid, I just, I really just enjoyed building a dungeon. Um, so this definitely was a lot of fun. And this really just seems like a much updated version of this. Of that of Dungeon Keeper.
with a lot more story to it. Now what? Do I need to build more treasuries? Holy cow. And the new brewery shone in all its glory. Wait a minute. That's no brewery. Damn you! You were supposed to build a brewery, not that crap. Come on, tear it down, start again. And this time, get it right. Okay. Let's see. My bad. You only gave me an option to build. How do I build a brewery? Maybe I gotta open the beer bottle. <laughs> Look how he picks him up with his pinky still sticking up. Do I just throw you back in the fire? Creature disappeared into the pit of uselessness with a long drawn and gradually diminishing. Oh. This particular act of wickedness <laughs> they're all, brought they're a all smile to the me. face of the ultimate evil. Wow, oh, I did find that enjoyable. Here, the clever evil mastered this task with flying colors. Oh gosh, From that's now what on, the little slots could use the treasury gosh. to store mined gold. It so dense. At the greedy evil's disposal whenever more rooms needed to be built or new creatures recruited. Little snots were all well and good, but were too weak and cowardly to defend the dungeon. Since it was not able to defend itself, the ultimate evil would have to hire some orcs. But they would require food. Liquid food. Well, beer to be precise. So the next important thing to build was a brewery. And that would require some space to be created. There was now an area cleared for the brewery site. And with quick finger snaps from the hand of terror, the room stood ready. I don't want to trade right? This means shows of production facilities. Brewery is a production facility. All right. But the recently built brewery lacked a brewing copper. With a sigh of resignation, the overworked <gasps> evil set about taking care of that too. That's a lot of work to be. Okay. Nope. How do I do that? Hit a little snot. The sadistic evil encouraged its creature to work a little faster with a friendly but not at all gentle snap. Put a brew kettle into the brewery. Oh, this? Wait, one of these? No. Where do I get a brew kettle? Hurry up. Where do I get the brew kettle? I don't know. Building room selected. Now in the action window. Oh, so I'm supposed to select the room. Oh my gosh, if only I just read it. Build a brew kettle, yes. The hardworking Ooh. evil effortlessly built a brewing copper so the delicious oh. beer could be brewed as soon as possible. One of the little snots started working on the brewing copper. The nostalgic evil banished all sorts of Oktoberfest and brass pans. Those would have to wait. More important tasks had to be completed first. Both beer and gold were now available in the dungeon. So it was time to hire some creatures to defend against greedy heroes or whatever else snuck around underground. At present, it was only simple orcs declaring undying loyalty to the ultimate evil. The rest of the horde was scattered to the winds. Oops. Hire little snots. Nope. Populate. Not enough available population the points. Oh, little points too. Oh. Dug up a spider's nest, thereby preempting some of my stories. Oh crap! Since there were no powerful fighting units in the dungeon, it was advisable for everyone to keep very, very still for the time being. Oh, there's a spider. Okay, stop. Oh no! Stop! No! Don't! Oh, you're destroying my walls! Stop it! Stop! What are you doing? Oh my gosh, get off. I need to throw you. You destroyed my wall. You didn't listen to me. Probably wasn't even you. Oh, how do I hire? Oh darn. Okay. Pushing buttons, I shouldn't be pushing. Alright, so that's 
all the time we have for this episode today. Um, this has been a much longer tutorial than I expected, so hopefully things will pick up. Um, I do, I really, really like this game so far. It's, it's just hilarious, and um, it's just so much like Dungeons Keeper. It's just so it's nostalgic for me too. Ooh, goodbye. Oh no, okay, you can live, I missed. Well, that is all the time we have for this episode today. Um, so far, this game is really good. I'm really enjoying it because it's nostalgic for me. It reminds me a lot of Dungeon Keeper. Yes, worship me. Who told you you could stop? Oh, the little sounds they make is so cute. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye guys.